Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome to my kitchen. And I'm just, I'm ecstatic because I got the Duolit toaster. This thing is essentially the Range Rover of toasters. It's beautiful. And I just wanna to talk to you about some of the things I learned about it while checking it out. It's an all metal toaster. It's hand built. This one is built by Paul. So he must have his own sticker in the factory he puts onto everything. The thing is all metal. On this toaster, you have a manual ejection knob, nothing automatic here. It's called a peak and pop ejector. So basically you can peek at your toast in the middle of toasting, which is great, but you also have to eject it once it's done toasting. It's got two toasters here. You can get a four model as well, but you have to manually select on the uh, selector knob how many slots you want to heat up. One thing they don't really say except in the manual if you read it is you've got to start from left to right otherwise if you just choose one only the left one's going to heat up and your timer's a bit different on this thing because it's actually just a, a timer when you do toast your toast if it's already heated up you know you're going to have to compensate manually but that's also kind of the beauty of this experience this thing doesn't have a bagel setting. In fact, the only setting it has is a defrost setting on the knob, which essentially all that's gonna do is tack on maybe like 20 or 30 seconds. So here's some of my criticisms. Probably my biggest one is the lack of a cancel button. On this toaster, if you actuate the timer, you can actuate it, but to cancel it, you just have to pull it back to zero and it feels real awkward to do. So here I've got the timer on. You can hear it going, but if I wanna cancel it, I have to pull it. It feels like you're gonna break it. And apparently they say you're not going to, but it feels like it. <laughs> the chrome on here, like any toaster that's not brushed, as soon as you put your fingerprints on it, you're gonna see that all over. So in terms of insulation, it's actually pretty well insulated. I was afraid because it's all metal that it would get super hot, but I measured on my little um, temperature gun and the highest it got was about 79 on the outside and pretty much towards the peak and pop handle was where it got the hottest on the outside, but I still felt pretty comfortable putting my hand there. I put both of these pieces of toast on a three. Um, overall, you can see the gradient line where the lines are in the toaster. That's not a big deal to me. On the other side, it's a little bit more even. Um, to me though, and here you can see like it's not even there. I don't think you can really get even on any toaster to be quite honest. As long as it's hot and butter melts on it, I'm happy. Let's talk dimensions. It's about eight and a half inches tall. They're six inches long and it's not plugged in by the way, about five and a half inches tall. And then width wise, you're looking at about a little bit less than an inch and a quarter. So this is Wonder Bread Toast. As you can see, it goes all the way in no problem. Sara Lee Toast. It also fits in pretty much perfectly. If you do have really big, tall slices of toast, they may not go in all the way. For as tall as a toaster it is, there's really not a, a ton of internal space. Not a particularly super th uh, wide load bay. So if you have a super thick toaster, they may not go all down all the way. In fact, I was trying to put a thicker slice of toast down here and it did kind of get caught halfway and I had to push it down a little bit. So another random feature I really like about this toaster, it has a lazy leg on it. So there's one leg or one foot that you can adjust that will allow the toaster to basically sit upright correctly on an uneven table. What's beautiful about this toaster to me is that it's all manual, it's incredibly simple and if it breaks, they do make it easy enough to replace parts for. So for a gearhead like me or somebody who likes gadgets, I think this would be a really solid choice. Just realize it's not your, <laughs> it's not your modern day automatic toaster. That's essentially what it is. It's just a beautiful classic toaster. And that's kind of why I love it, to be honest. I hope this was helpful. I'm excited to see if you're gonna get a Duolette because they're, they're pretty cool. And <laughs> definitely, a statement piece. So thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.